So the key point for here is zero emission and zero compromises. I want to insist on the zero compromises because in the past, people used to think, okay, when I have to do something good for the world, I need to make compromise. Okay, I, I, need, I need to buy this car which gives me a lot of mileage, but I have to compromise the design. I mean, it, it may not be a great looking car, but I'll drive it because it saves the world. And it, it doesn't have the performance which I need, but I'll still drive it because it saves the world. But the key point here is you don't have to make compromises. This is fundamental about Tesla. We question everything to say why things have to be a certain way and why people have to make compromises to, to save the world. You can get all of these and still you can save the world. So that's kind of where, how we thought through the design of Tesla. So it's, it's a zero emission, zero compromises car. So it's, it's, the car is a blend of aerodynamics and a beautiful design. I think everyone would agree. And it's a lower operating cost. It's an expensive car, I agree. But I, I, I did lay it out initially why we had to do this. And the lower operating cost is, you will see, I have a slide later to see how much it compares to your gasoline combustion car. And it, it's a significant savings month over month. And also, you don't have to live up with all the gas and oil smell when you go to the gas station and, and, the, and the smoke that you inhale. And then the, the innovative interior. And then the superior performance and driving experience. So you don't have to give up performance. It performs better than any other car that you would have, you would have driven in the past. And improved, improved reliability. This is all through thought through ground up from the design. And then it is the safest car. I mean, it, there, there are a lot of um, third, third party and the common um, people who have studied the car and certified it is the safest car. 